We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. A good matchup here for you tonight between the Colorado Rockies and the Arizona Diamondbacks. Coming to the plate now, Rymel Tapia, and we are set for baseball here this evening. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Grounder down the line at third, but this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. Hit on the ground is short. Ahmed fields it cleanly. And there's one away. Here's Daniel Murphy now. And you see the numbers there. He's been very dangerous at the plate, to say the least. Now the three and two pitch. Stung into the gap in right center for what should be extra bases. Around first is Murphy taking the turn for second now. And he's in there easily at second with a one-out double. Batting third, the third baseman, Nolan Arenado. Standing in now, Nolan Arenado. On that fastball's too much for him there, one and two. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. If you're on the mound right there and you're getting a swing at a breaking ball off the plate, do not be shocked if he's tucked something up under this guy's chin hot right here. Hit the other way out toward right field. Marte is there. Two down. So a runner in scoring position with two men gone. And in the bat next, the big-time RBI man, Charlie Blackman. The set and the 1-1 seared down the first baseline. But a foul ball. One and two the count now. A ball and two strikes. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him. And the inning is over. Stepping into the box, Starling Marte. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The 2 2. And he lays off a pitch off the plate and high, three and two. You can certainly tell at bats like this one, frustrate the heck out of a pitcher. But you've got to find a way to stay composed and execute your plan. And he takes ball four. So the leadoff man is on here in the home half of the first in a scoreless ball game. He's running. Now a changeup hit on the ground to shortstop. Story brings it in. Throw on to first, and one shortstop grounds out to the other, one away. Up next for Arizona, Patel Marte. He was one for four with a two-bagger in yesterday's game. Gets the sign. Here comes the 2-1. Marte leads off second with one gun in the inning. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. Great job of doubling up with the fastball inside. A lot of times you'll see a pitcher go in there, but they won't go back in there a second time. This guy's not afraid to pitch inside. Dahl will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. So here's the cleanup hitter for Arizona, David Peralta. In his career versus this pitcher, he's a 333 hitter. He also has one home run. That misses, and we're even at two and two. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Now on three and two as a pitcher, you've got to go with the pitch that you feel most comfortable throwing with. Lifted down the line in left. 
Dahl's in pursuit, and they can't run it down. Here's the payoff pitch. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. He's in at second safely as they jump ahead with a run scoring on the play. The third baseman. Stepping in now, Eduardo Escobar. And that misses ball four, so it's first and second now with two out. Standing in, Carson Kelly. And now the Diamondbacks look to push more across in the opening frame. Line drive to center field. Tapia will get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. Bring up the speedy outfielder David Dahl, hoping to stay hot as he came through with a four hit contest yesterday afternoon. 1 1. Pulled toward right center field. Center fielder giving chase, but he won't get to it, and this should put a man in scoring position to start the inning. And he's got himself a leadoff double to begin the second. At the plate, Trevor Story. Fastball called, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. Striding in for the Rockies, Garrett Hampson, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Hit out towards second, scooped up, and that's the second out. So stepping in, Dom Nunez, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. One and one. Here it is. Two outs here with a runner at third. Two and two to the Colorado catcher. Lifted the other way out to left center. Peralta is under it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Ready now for the Diamondbacks. Christian Walker. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Swung on, and this ball is absolutely crushed. Forget about it. And gone. An absolute bomb. At the plate now, Hildemaro Vargas. Now that ball is smoked, carrying the deep left. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. So now to the plate, Corbin Martin. And this one's up around the eyes, two and one. You certainly know he's not trying to work around the pitcher. But sometimes the hardest thing to do is to throw a strike to a guy that you know won't swing the bat. Waiting on it is Dahl, and that's the first out of the inning. So it's back to the top of the order now, and that'll bring up Starling Marte. This is on the ground over to first. Gloved by Murphy. Throw gets him. Two down. Digging in for his second at bat. Nick Ahmed. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. The 1-1. One, one. Grounded to short. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Fielder, four. Into the box now. Cattell Marte. Strike hey. called. Now the throw down. He is not in time. Pretty close, but he got in there safely. The 2 2. And this is lifted in the air out to left. Story ranging into the outfield. 
He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Into the box now is the Colorado pitcher, Kyle Freeland, as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Hey, I don't mind that take right there. That was a nasty breaking ball. Started outside the zone, popped back inside the zone. Good spin rate on it. Move on to the next pitch. High in the air down the right field line. Marte on the move. And he makes the catch in the corner. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Rymel Tapia. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Liner in there for a base hit. Now this will rattle up against the wall. And he'll reach second now with one away. Now that the first base, Daniel Murphy. Into the box, Daniel Murphy. And a full count as that misses. It's three and two now. Not a time to fool around right now on a three-two count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. And there's out number two. In now for Colorado, Nolan Arenado. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this AB. He would have had to go with the old school Tommy Hawk approach on that one if he wanted to get on top, but he was able to lay off it. Got him looking, and that ends the inning. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and that'll bring forth the veteran outfielder, David Peralta. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. No contact there, and it's one and two. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. One gun in the Arizona third, and that'll bring up Eduardo Escobar. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one, two. And it's fouled away. Hey, that fastball caught too much of the plate on an 0 2 count. Hit hard to the right side. Foul. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at 2 and 2. These are the great matchups that happen throughout the course of a game. I don't think as a pitcher you can give in right here. He's a great hitter at the plate. He knows it. You know it. Keep executing. Maybe get him to roll something over. And he'll pull into second with one away. Now that is the pitcher. Carson Kelly. In now, Carson Kelly. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Too high. Ball three. Great game plan so far by this offense. They're not chasing any of those breaking balls out of the zone. And a changeup. Couldn't get him to bite, and it's ball four. Stepping in, Christian Walker. He went deep in his first at bat. We'll see what he's got in store for us here. The 2 1. Ball three. It's one thing to get hit around, but it's far worse when you're getting yourself into trouble by not throwing strikes. Every pitcher's been there, but it doesn't make it any less frustrating or unacceptable. And he misses again. Ball four. And that's back to back guys now that have reached base 15. via the base on ball. The 3-1. Lifted down the line and left. And that's going to land foul. Out of the stretch, the 3-2 pitch home. 
And a strike three called. My gracious, what a pitch with the bases loaded, and there are two away now. Ready with the 1 1. Liner towards second. And that's in there. Base hit. And not in time as the run scores. Throw won't get him. Jairo Diaz is going to come on to pitch here. And in just the third inning, you have to think he'll be asked to eat some innings. Standing in now, Starling Marte. Left center, base hit. Walker rounds the corner and is headed home. One run is scored. Here's a second runner around third. And he's safe at the plate. And they're pulling away. They lead by seven. The batter number 15. At the plate, Nick Ahmed. High in the air into shallow left center. Waiting on it is Dahl. And that's the third out. All set for the start of the fourth. And next, it'll be the outfielder, Charlie Blackman. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on. But you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle. And one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. And a close play at first, but a great stretch that time as they get him by a step for out number one. The 2-1 home. Runs a bit inside for a ball. Hey, he's had great command all day. Want to see how aggressive he is in the zone with a three-ball count. A swing, and this one is blasted to right field. Nothing's going to stop it. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. Stepping in now, Trevor Story. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And foul, though it had the home run distance. Man, he was all over that change up right there, just not able to keep it. Here's another one that's drilled, this one to left. But that'll stay in the park as it's off the left field wall. And he is in at second base with a one-out double. Now battle, number one. At the plate now, Garrett Hampson. The bouncer to the left side. And there are two away now. Digging in, Dom Nunez. He flew out in his last at-bat. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Digging in, Patel Marte. He'll swing it from the left side right here. Even though they're up by a boatload early on in this one, you can't get complacent and get lazy. They got to keep the gas pedal down because this team that they're playing can strike and score a lot of runs too. Now the payoff pitch home. Hit on the ground to short. And that's the first down. So the base is empty here with one away. And up next, the outfielder, David Peralta. Peralta. The 1-1. One, one. Slapped hard the opposite way. Dahl is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. And there are two gone now. Digging in the switch hitter, Eduardo Escobar. He came across to score after doubling in his last at-bat. Yeah, it's been an offensive explosion for him today. There's a fight at the bat rack. Everyone seems to be putting barrel on baseball in this lineup. The 1-2 is looked at for ball number two. Swing and a miss. He struck him out with a two-seamer, and the inning is over.
Josh Fuentes will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number eight, Josh Fuentes. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. Liner in there for a base hit. Now that the seven Tapia. Into the box now. Rymel Tapia. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Daniel Murphy steps in now. One for two, including a double back in the first. The 1 1. Three and one. Time to wake up the offense right here. Three one count, all in on something over the heart of the plate. That's lifted the other way out to left. After it is Peralta. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Here's Nolan Arenado. No hits to this point. Third base. Nolan Arenado. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. Can't find the zone there, and it's three and one. This is where you cash your checks right here. Three one. You're one of the best hitters in the game. You live for situations like this. Sent out to straightaway center field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Ryan Shaw gets the call to pitch now, here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. Now at the plate, Carson Kelly. A 1 1. Here's a pop up now. Arenado is under it. One down. Stepping into the box, Christian Walker. Perhaps he can drive another one out of the park just like he did back in the second. Now the payoff pitch home. Rip down the first baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Full count still. Shaw was known as a short relief specialist, a guy who came in, got one or two big outs, but with the new pace of play rules, they're forcing a change for this right-hander. And he finally wins the battle as this is swung on and missed now for the second out. The second baseman. Standing in, Ildemaro Vargas. He comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. The three and one pitch. Waves and misses for strike number two. him up over to the left but playable over in foul ground and Arenado will make the catch to retire the side so next it'll be the number four batter for the Rockies Charlie Blackman he started out the evening 0 for 2 so far now the one and one pitch there's a breaking ball that's taken for a ball Base hit into right center. In now, David Dahl. One and two now. All you want is the leadoff man to get on to start a big inning. Maybe get a big rally going to claw your way back into this ball game. In the dirt here. But it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. He's set and the 2 2 pitch. 
And that's swung on and missed. So good work on the mound will take care of the National League's leading hitter. And there's one away. Hits are even at seven apiece. And he fouls this one off. Hit in the air out to straightaway left. Peralta on the move. But he can't get there, and it bounces over the wall. It's a ground rule double. Merrill Kelly is going to have his work cut out for him here. Two runners in scoring position, so he'll try to leave them right where they are. Number 29. So now to the plate, Garrett Hansen. And that's on the outside corner, one and two. A little late on the fastball, but he's able to spoil that one off, and he'll get another chance. Again, he sends it out of play. Popped up. Walker is there. Two down. Now with the plate, Dom Nunez. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. Chopped toward the second baseman. On to first, and the Rockies fail to cash in as that ends the inning. to change up on him there but it's a ball two and one and that misses off the plate and low so it's three and one now one thing that could nag at you as a pitcher is having to work really hard to get a guy that you think you should be able to cruise right through he's not known for his offensive prowess but he's putting together a real nice at bat here Pulls this one into the air out into right field. After it is Blackman. He's there and records the first down. Digging in next will be Starling Marte. Called strike and he's behind one and two. Looked like the cut fastball there, and he got him to swing through it for the second out. No batter, no Ready for another team. shot now. Short Nick stop. Ahmed. He's got a hit in three at-bats to oh, this man. point. And yeah, that one misses badly. It's ball two. Mm, fooled him with that one as he's way out in front. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. You Mike Leake will come on in relief now, now as he'll make his 35th appearance of the season. Sam Hilliard is up off the bench as he'll pinch hit here to start inning number seven. There's ball two now. Cutter, and that's a called strike two. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep the ball around the knees like that. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Long run for the center fielder. But he won't get to it, and this should put a man in scoring position to start the inning. And he'll get there as he kicks off the seventh with a leadoff triple. Next to Colorado, the center fielder, Rymel Tapia. To the plate now, Rymel Tapia. This one's down to third. He's got it. And it's in time to get him. But a run is in to score away from the play. 
So coming to the plate, Daniel Murphy. Bases empty in front of him with one away following the RBI ground out. The 1-1. One, one. Two runs, nine hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Rockies thus far. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. Now that is the third base Nolan Arenado. At the plate, Nolan Arenado. Doesn't want any part of that cutter, and it's full three and two. I think it's a real possibility that they put that run in first in motion. That would help them stay out of that double play that would end the inning, but that's also kind of risky at the same time. Relay to first in time, and just like that, the side is retired. Wade Davis gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Bottom of the inning now, and that'll bring up the infielder Cattell Marte. The 1-1. One, one. Hit back up the middle. Throw just in time as they get him by an eyelash. So here's the cleanup hitter, David Peralta. Hit the ball pretty well in his last at bat, but it resulted in a line out. Yeah, pretty unlucky right there, Matty. Squared up a fastball nicely, and that's all you can do. You just want to be on time for the heater, and he's prepared for this next AB. This pitcher's bringing it with some high velo. You better get that front foot down early and get ready, or he's going to throw it right by you. Still one and two as he fouls it away. One out, nobody on. He pulls this one into right. That gets down. He's got himself a base hit. Stepping in now, Eduardo Escobar. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one-out double. The bat, the pitcher, Kelly. Into the box now, Carson Kelly. Outside, two and one. Everyone in the ballpark knows what the pitcher's intentions are in this situation. Great job at the plate to lay off a tough pitch in a good spot. Three balls and a strike to Carson Kelly. Somebody's getting frustrated. He's not used to getting hit around like this. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Ranging back is Dahl. On the warning track, he makes the catch. And he will score on the sacrifice fly. Now at the plate, Christian Walker, runner in scoring position with Sujan. Just got the corner that time with a fastball, strike two. Well executed fastball right at the knees. Going to be a long day for this offense if he stays in that spot. Heading out towards shallow right. And Blackman will make the catch here, and that ends the inning. Ready to begin the eighth, and that'll bring up Charlie Blackman. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. And another foul ball. Now a ball lined to the left side. But foul. That's popped up. There to haul it in is Escobar, and that's the first down. 
David Dahl to the plate now. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Bases are empty, one man out. There's ball four. Settling in now, Trevor Story. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Yeah, give me a repeat performance of that last double. With a man on first right now, let him run, get you a ribby. Swing and oh my, hit him with the high. And that ball will stay fair, and it's gone. A home run. Archie Bradley is in out of the bullpen now as he'll be inserted into the number six spot following the double switch. Stephen Vogt is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher's spot, hitting ninth now on the double switch. Out front as he grounds this one to short. There is a man, and that's the second out. Now batting, Dom Nunez. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Here's the one and one pitch. A good action on the two seamer there, and it's one and two. Hey, if he's going to get swings and misses at balls up and out of the zone, he's going to continue to go. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Carlos Estevez will come on to pitch now as he'll move into the eighth spot in the lineup on the double switch here. Tony Walters will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. Number 14. Now the 2 1 pitch. Rounded weakly down the line toward third. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. Into the box now. Stephen Vogt. He'll get to take his first cuts here. The 1-1. Fouled off. Fouled away. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. You know, something to keep in mind, they're really burning through that bullpen, and this is only the first game of the series. Definitely could have an impact on the rest of the series, and maybe even the whole week ahead. And he strikes him out as well, so make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first right, two men he faces out of the bullpen. Eight runs, nine hits, no errors so far for the Diamondbacks. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. And a great inning here as he gets another punch out and strikes out the side in order. Now to the plate, Tony Walters. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. And this one's going to bounce up to the plate. An easy take there. And it's three and one now. You could pretty much book it that a fastball's coming. A challenge fastball right here. He cannot allow the nine hole hitter to get on base with the top of the order looming. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Rymel Tapia. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. And here's a changeup in there for a called third strike, and that's the second out of the inning. At the plate, Daniel Murphy, and he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Taken called strike two, and now they're down to their final strike tonight. Last strike now for Colorado. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now, three and two. Great take right there, but the last thing you want to do is be called on Colorado. Good night. Yeah, and in this game, you always try to find a way to be hopeful. They win the first game of a new month and are now looking to keep it rolling the rest of the way. 8-4 tonight. Arizona get their 20th home win this year. Corbin Martin earns the win his second.
Kyle Freeland was hit hard to the tune of seven earned as he takes the loss. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. The final run score for the ball game tonight. First for the victorious Diamondbacks, eight runs, nine hits, no errors. They left five men on base. For the Rockies, four runs on 11 hits, no errors. They left eight men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours.